Hi, Intuitive D1111. I have had so many interferences. This is my second time attempting to record this, okay? Um, <laughs> so I know these karmic and third party and negative energies are mad mad and I really just don't care. So let's get into whatever comes out, what you guys need to know. If you enjoy me putting out this free content, just do me a favor, hit the like button as well as follow or subscribe. It definitely will help my small channel on YouTube to grow. It'll help the message to get out to different people, okay? So what we have here is someone that feels like you deserve someone better than them, okay? And I feel like this person has excuses, 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 okay? We have, I'm only seeking others to help me get over you. So this is the type of person where, you know, right when you go through a breakup, they're back with another ex. Or right when you go through a breakup, you know, um, they're out there, you know, on the prowl looking for one night stands, okay? And, you know, that seems to be what happens with masculine energies, unfortunately, that are unhealed. Um, they definitely do think if they go out there and smash a bunch of people after your breakup, it's going to make them feel better. And of course, 111 on the timer, it doesn't. So, because this person is still feeling heartbroken, okay? This person is heartbroken. You're heartbroken. <laughs> it's just, I, you know, I'm laughing because I, I see this person here rereading your old messages you know they keep looking at their phone they're hoping that you're going to contact them they're reading your last things that you said that they said you know i feel like there could have also been some harsh communication or i feel like you know if you're wondering if someone received your message they did okay they, they definitely received it for some of you pride is in the way for others of you they have someone else involved in the way okay but with the tower here you see this whatever situation they're in involved in right now that's not for their highest good is going up in flames so you're going to see that they've been trying to avoid a disaster by coming towards you but they're most likely going to end up having to leave whoever they're dealing with get a divorce because the hierophant is here it's about time that they step into the spiritual purpose of your connection and it's about time that they learn these karmic lessons okay that's the message i'm getting because I feel like everybody else wanted to get involved within your connection. There was a lot of gossip, a lot of interference, um, a lot of he said, she said. And I feel like you're at the point of protecting your peace. Your spiritual team is protecting you from this unnecessary drama. I feel like this person thought the grass was greener, okay? Because we have over here, I thought I wanted someone better than you, but there is no one better for me than you. And so... With the two of wands here, the two of pentacles and the two of swords you, and the seven of cups. Yeah, this person was out there. If they weren't dating around, they could have very well just been within a some type of connection and their eyes were wandering and then their actions were wandering. Okay, wands. Wands talk about passion. They could have went towards somebody they found they thought was attractive. For others of you, they could have stayed in something for money or they went towards someone maybe they thought had more money or was more established. For the two of swords, I feel this person had conflicting thoughts on who to choose, you know, whether or not to, you know, stick with something lower vibrational or step into this spiritual connection. And it's like for some of you, it's like they wanted to ignore you because they wanted to explore their options, you know. And then after they did all that, they realized that, you know, however many people that you know they talk to online or in person however many people you know whichever person they stayed with it's like we already seen in the other readings that that situation that karmic connection is absolutely miserable you know they're not even want to be wanting to be together anymore and they're not being faithful to one another so what we have here is your person has been daydreaming about you okay um, you know, they really admire who you are with the high priestess here. I feel like you have been keeping yourself from this person. Um, I feel like what you've been doing is you've really just been praying more, meditating more, maybe saying your affirmations, rebuilding yourself, rebuilding your confidence. I feel like this situation, this connection really did a toll on your mental state. And if those aren't things that you're doing, you're being guided to really take that self care, that time and to do that, you know, spend time around nature, you know, maybe some of you guys, you know, maybe you have flowers or maybe, you know, you have a garden or maybe they're just telling you that you need to get outside and get grounded because I feel like you were wondering, like, 
are these per are the feelings of this person real or, or is it all an illusion because you're dealing with someone that is a master manipulator okay they they do know how to leave someone in suspense and confused with clouded judgment because they feel like they have the upper hand with that so this is somebody that will in fact ghost you okay because they're not going to tell you that they moved on with somebody else or they're not going to tell you that they're still going to stay and work on their marriage or they're not going to tell you you know that a crazy life event happened and they just can't deal with anything romantic right now they're just going to ghost okay because they have healing to do as far as their you know emotional maturity goes and I feel like intuitively you already know what's up here with the high priestess. You know, I read for a lot of readers, a lot of mediums, a lot of, uh, you know, entertainers or people that are just, you know, leaders. Okay. In whatever skill assets that you have, please excuse my nails. I have acrylic paint, you know, still on me. Um, and so what we have over here with the page of wands is this person wants to communicate with you. Okay. We've been seeing that. This person, you see she's climbing a tree. This person has been going to great lengths to try to avoid thinking about you, but they can't, okay? This person kind of wants to reach out to you and see if they can work their charm on you again, okay? It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? Could be a Leo, an Aquarius. We have Taurus, heavy here, Scorpio. <sighs> yeah pisces <laughs> there was so much interference within this connection okay these people some of them use spell work others of them they just ran their mouths they try to get their person to think bad things about you and they're big mad okay they're mad that their attempts at keeping you and your person apart even energetically maybe you're like i'm not even around this person well i'm kind of giving you a behind the scenes look of what's going on they're big mad that their plan failed because regardless of what anyone is saying or what your person is doing they want a second take okay they they want to try again with this connection why because they feel like you're their soulmate here it says your soulmate loves accepts and respects you unconditionally yeah your person is stressed out over communication Okay, they're like, okay, well, what do I say now? They're up at night. Finally, the two of cups. <laughs> they're like, I'm up at night and I know that you're my person. Okay, I know that I love you. I know that I care about you. Some of you could have kids with this person or maybe you wanted kids with this person or maybe this person stuck in another connection because of kids or responsibilities or, you know, just past obligations. Whatever it is, this person is stressing about reconciliation. Okay, they're afraid that if they come towards you that you're going to possibly reject them because they know that they were being a fool in the past okay they were rushing very quickly away from this connection to something that they thought was better and now they feel like a fool so for some of you this person's drinking or smoking or has some type of addiction and you know they're while they're sitting there smoking or drinking listening to music whatever they're doing they're talking about you just talking you know talking to anybody that'll listen to them you know like the bartenders they hear they hear everything right and then your person goes home and sleeps and then they dream about you okay and then he's sitting here with his violin you know like this person is also still playing the victim a little bit okay so for some of you they're talking to other people about how they messed up and they want to get you back for others of you your person has a lot of ego and they're like oh man you know f that b or what who are you talking about i'm not thinking about them we're over and done with you know there's a lot of pride and ego with your person so some of you they're being honest to people around them for a good amount of you i feel they're keeping it to themselves or they're putting on a show Okay, with the world card, you've closed out this karmic cycle. You know your worth. We have the Empress here. You know growth and expansion is um, is on the horizon for you. You know, you're looking for opportunities in life. You know, you're, you're going after cultivating your skills and your assets so you can bring more foundation in to yourself, to your family, to your community, okay? And I feel quite frankly, many of you here that are chosen ones, you're just not really interested in this person's offer anymore. And they can feel that, okay? Because, you know, as a king of wands, you know, for some of you, they were out here acting single when they had a whole nother situation at home. 
you know, for others of you, they, you know, were quick to take action towards something that they thought was more prosperous or more advantageous for them at the time, you know, giving opportunist energy. For others of you, it's like they had a full on other marriage contract or whatever, and, you know, they were afraid of causing a tower within that situation. But when the tower's in reverse, it's eventually going to be upright. So it's coming down. It's just a matter of logistics and when, okay? With a chariot card, you're moving forward, right? It's the emperor on the chariot. This person wants to drive to see you, okay? I keep seeing cards of people looking through through stethoscopes and cameras. This person is definitely stalking you, okay? Online, for some of you, even in person. Good Lord. Yeah, with the six of swords, I feel like you've moved on to calmer water, okay? you're Some of you are our guys are planning actual moves. Um, you know, maybe you're keeping it secretive maybe you're not going to tell anybody when you move okay yeah definitely the six of swords and the ten of wands i feel like a lot of you guys have a physical move coming that you've been saving for and this person can feel you detaching from their energy and they're wondering okay well did they move cities did they move states are they moving you know away from me or are they doing this well if they're stalking you then why not right or if they're not speaking their truth then why not with the seven of pentacles, I feel like you gave this connection everything that you had, right? And it's like, you're, feel, you're feeling like, look, this is what we could have had. Um, but with the three of wands, they turned their back on you. They wanted something different. So now, you know, you guys are having fun. You're experiencing life, okay? You know, there's people here. Some of you guys are already at a physical distance from this person. Or it's just an emotional distance. But I feel like, you know, wands talk about action. This person is trying to figure out which type of action they can take towards you. Okay? And you see his hands up. It's like this person wants a victory with you. They know that they've put you through it with the nine of wands. They know that they could have had... Um, you know, an emotionally fulfilling connection with you with the Ten of Cups. Some of you, they feel like, you know, they could have had a family with you. But it's like they walked away from their happiness when they walked away from you. Absolutely. And then here's the Justice card. For some of you, families interfere. For others of you, I'm telling you, this person, if they're married, someone's getting a divorce. I feel like this person is trying to hide the fact that some of you, they're trying to hide the fact that they were in another connection. Uh, maybe you guys were just on a break and you didn't really know what was going on with this person. I feel like they're secretly getting their karma here for however they treated you. Absolutely, because we have the devil card here. Some of you, you were dealing with someone that was doing, uh, connect, that was connected with someone doing moon magic. Okay, I feel like this person, you know, often drinks or gives into substances, you know, and then really just gets emotional about your situation at night. For some of you, they come home to a queen of swords and this person is done, like done, done with them. Okay, this person has already caught them cheating or maybe this person was cheating or maybe this person just knows that they want to go towards you and give you an offer, right? So they know that this person is ready to end that connection, okay? And it's like they know it's out of their hands. There's nothing they can do because this person has graduated from this situation. That, that cycle is over, okay? So now this person literally is trying to figure out 1313 on the timer, where you are, how they can get to you, you know, what they'll say to you when they get there. Because what I'm getting is I know some of you guys are like, okay, well, you know, he blocked me or, hey, you know, um, I messaged him. He didn't respond back or, you know, um, all these different things that you guys tell me. And it's just like, hey, just because someone's not talking to you doesn't mean they're not thinking about you. Sometimes they're trying to figure out, especially if they have a hard time communicating their emotions, they're having a hard time even conveying to you how they feel. Sometimes they don't even know how to articulate how they feel. Okay, like I feel like your person is angry. They're angry with themselves, they're angry with people around them, and they just want their soulmate connection back, okay? So your person is being forced to go within. Your person is probably at the point of having to ghost everybody, and if they haven't done this, they will be doing this. They will be forced into seclusion, okay? They're not gonna be able to go from person to person or relationship to relationship, okay? The divine is gonna make sure that they are isolated in some type of way so that they can really, truly review their behavior and get their life on track, okay? Because only after they do that will your connection even have a chance to have a victory with the Six of Wands, okay? 
they need to heal their pride and their ego and ask themselves why it's so hard to tell you that they love you why it's so hard to be honest and tell you hey you know what i had another situation i had to stick in there for whatever reason or at least i thought i did but i'm ending that okay this person like i said has multiple blocked chakras and if you're interested in, you know, clearing services, you can always message me about that as well. But this is the truth with the Ace of Swords. It's like they're watching you winning, okay? They're watching you online. They're watching you, you know, through asking different people that know you, okay? They know that other people are interested in you with the Six of Wands. And everyone is pretty much... I feel some of these people have even told them like, hey, you know what, stay away from this person because this person is finally getting themselves back together in life. Don't come and ruin it for them. But this person still wants to be selfish and come towards you even before they're ready, okay? Um, and they need to come towards you after they've taken time alone to truly heal. And when I say alone, I mean as in, you know, not just hooking up with random people, not hopping back into an old reconciling with another ex and all that stuff. Those are distractions like I've had during this video, okay? And because your person has a habit of just going out there and, you know, trying to erase your memory with one night stands or reconciling with old other exes or just random people, okay? <sighs> And that's because they're trying to, you know, forget about you. And then they want to, um, some of you, I mean, they just really have some horrible people in their environment. I mean, your person needs to focus on their finances and being single. So, yeah, if you know your person is still in a marriage or still in another commitment, then they need time after that to heal before they come towards you. You want to make sure that this person doesn't have anybody else that feels they're in a relationship with them still, okay, when they come towards you, okay, especially contract-wise, yeah, because you don't deserve to be breadcrumbed. You're the empress or the emperor, okay, and I see this person has been out here, you know, for some of you, you know, taking different people on dates, you know, giving, if it's a guy, could be giving money to different women. I mean, just spending money out there to have a good time, you know, focusing on work, you know, hiding even from whoever they could be dealing with already that they've been cheating on them, but it's all being exposed. Yeah, it's all being exposed to you and then whoever they're connecting with. And then this person is still watching you, okay? Heartbroken and everything with the five of cups, in despair, angry, because now, you know, others are taking action towards you and you're taking action towards your goals, okay? So they know that they have to fight for you when they come back, okay? They know that you're not chasing after them and all that crap. They're, you're not doing that. You're focused on your work. You're focused on self-love. And you're also open for new love. Yeah, I can't make this up. Eight of Pentacles. Your money is growing, okay? You're healing. You're taking care of your body. You know, you're in recovery here for a lot of you. You're healing your heart. You're focusing on yourself. You have a wish fulfillment coming, okay? You're rebuilding yourself after this situation. And, um, and that's what your guidance is to continue doing that. Because, you know, this person, you know, has a habit of always thinking the grass is greener. So, therefore, they need to learn that lesson that, you know, they can't just put people that love them on the back burner, 1818 on the timer. And um, that's what I have for you. Namaste.